Hey everybody, as you know, I'm slowly reposting all of my C-130 videos and re-editing them a little bit, adding a little bit more narration. But this was the 10th uh, scale C-130 I was developing, and if you followed it for many years, you know that I have many videos I'm going to reshare. But basically, this is a 12-volt system I made using a couple of 12-volt uh, motors, turning uh, jack screws I had first developed myself, and then I bought all thread. And then I ended up with an, a, a true Acme type lead screw to run these up and down. The servo in the middle you see is turning a cam. That cam was activating switches that would run the uh, landing gear to the up travel and the down travel uh, limit switches. And that's what control. I have two fuses there in the middle in case something binded. But here at the wheels off, you can see there's orange wire and blue wires. The orange wires were the over travels and the blue wires were the primary limit switches. I, I put those orange wires there out of paranoia that if it ever ran past my primary trap, my primary limit switch, it wouldn't get hot and start a fire. And then I got even more paranoid and put the fuses in there. Um, this system right now is running off that servo with a cam and it worked really good. But I was always just nervous about the reliability. So a friend of mine, Berger, who's a genius, I asked him, would you build me a little controller, a little sequencer to run this? And he did. The next video, I'll cover that. So I ended up with a sequencer that ran the up and down, saw the limit switches, saw the over travels, and it also ran my gear doors. And it worked out really nice. Um, I tested each of these jack screws, and each would lift 13 pounds, which is way more than the one and a half pound wheel sets with the brakes. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it just ran flawlessly. I mean, this was one of the slickest setups um, I designed for landing gear. And if you followed me for a lot of years, you know I don't buy landing gear from anybody because they always overcharge me and the gear wor works like trash. So I, I build all of my own landing gear nowadays. And uh, I did drop test this. Um, fuselage with the wings weighed 52 pounds. I dropped it from 11 inches. Gears handled it. The, the wings handled it. The airplane handled it. So um, they definitely worked perfect. Uh, like I said, the all-up weight of the airplane was 52 pounds, had 160-inch wingspan, was going to fly on four Hacker A60-16Ls. A friend of mine wanted it, and I said no, and he offered me more money than I would have ever thought somebody would have offered me, so I sold the plane, which made a lot of people mad. He's converting it to turbine. He's had a little challenges getting the plumbing to work to the turbines because the fuel tanks have to go in the top of the middle of the fuselage because the wings just don't have the room um, and they're foam, you know, wings with uh, balsa wood and fiberglass and paint. So that's pretty much it, everybody. One thing to keep in mind, um, if you follow my videos, I just love to test. And I know sometimes I go a little bit outside what everybody thinks normal, but just uh, watch my videos before you are a hater and say my stuff won't work because so far, knock on wood, everything I've designed has worked. So, hope you enjoy these videos, everybody. Um, you know, when the plane was ultimately completely done and I had painted it and was getting ready to taxi test it, um, it was one of the, the, the coolest planes as far as systems I've ever had. It had so many systems on it with the nose gear, the main gears, the, the uh, doors in the back, um, the dropping mechanism, everything that was in this airplane. But uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. So, uh, it was definitely hard to sell. And uh, it turned out really, really sexy. And one day, if I have enough money and don't ever have to sell these, I'll keep them forever. Rock on, everybody. Take care.